Good afternoon and welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel. My name is Katie and this is Louisiana Cooking and Living. So recently I made a big pot of chili. Um, if you just watch, if you watch my videos in a row, this was the last video I posted on Thursday. And I'm going to show you what we do with our leftover chili. Usually when you make chili, you have a big pot of chili and you can send home, some home with your friends and family if you're having company over or um, I've even canned it before. But sometimes you end up with, I'll just show you, stored it in my, my quart mason jar. It's all I had left after I sent it home with my kids. And so I'm going to show you what we do with our leftovers when we just have a little bit. And um, we call these Pops' tacos. My kids called my dad Pops. And when I was a kid, we called them Dad's tacos. So this is what we're going to make today. And the first thing we're going to do is go and heat some corn tortillas on the stove. So we'll do that and we will, this comes together really quickly. So let's go get the taco, the tortillas cooked and then we will just assemble. That's all we got to do. All right, so my cast iron skillet here, I have about a quarter of an inch of oil. I'm using regular olive oil today. I'm low on my avocado oil, but you want to use a neutral flavored oil. I'm not using extra virgin because that does have a strong flavor. So this is just regular olive oil I'm using today. And I just have my yellow corn tortillas. My, my pan is hot. I'm just going to dip them in here. It doesn't take long. You do not want them to crispy. You just want to cook the corn in the tortilla. And um, it softens them, makes them pliable. So a few seconds per side. We'll flip it over. And these tortillas seem to be kind of fragile. Drain off, lay it on our paper towels. And then you just make as many tortillas as you need. I would generally say two to three per person. Just me and my husband here tonight, so um, I'm going to make three for him and two for me. I'm not quite sure how many he's going to want to eat, but All right, one more and we'll be done. All right, I'll move back over to the counter and put these together. Okay, so essentially you want any toppings that you would normally have on your chili, except for adding the lettuce part of the taco. And so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our tortillas, and I usually like to kind of fold them back to back like this. We're gonna put lettuce in each one of your little tortillas. We're going to put cheese, I have cheddar, and Monterey Jack here. And then, this is where it becomes Pops' Tacos. We're going to fold this over. And then we're going to put 
our chili that we heated right in our jar. So we don't need any extra dishes, pots, and pans. I'll just pour this over the top. Like that. And then pour some more cheese on top. Some more some red onion here. And some avocado. My husband's going to want sour cream, pickled peppers here. All right, and that's Pops' tacos. So we'll give this a taste test. All right, let's see if we can um, get the plate in here without making a mess. So here we go, Pops' tacos. So you just cut into it. We put it on the counter to cut in. All right, you want to get everything in your bite. Some chili, some cheese, onions, tortilla, lettuce, everything in your bite. Here we go. Again, I told y'all I didn't like chili growing up. I didn't like this growing up either. But now that I like my chili, I really like eating this too. And like I said in my ta taco video, which I'll link in the cards above, I like the cool, crisp lettuce and the cold cheese and the warm meat. I love that combination. I hope y'all give this recipe a try. If you enjoy this, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we'll see you next time.